something really shocking has been seen repeatedly on American television. It's Netanyahu's face, and under it, the label, Netanyahu addresses judicial reform. But this is a lie, and I wish they used the right word. It is not a reform, it is a coup. When a government elected by a slim majority tries to change the rules of the game, it is not a reform, it is a coup. When a government eliminates judicial checks on its actions and its laws, it is not a reform, it is a coup. When a government is dominated by people who do not believe in democracy, it is not a reform, it is a coup. When millions of Israelis feel their freedom is threatened, it is not a reform that they fear, it is a coup. When when hundreds of thousands demonstrate for 40 weeks straight, it is not a reform that they resist, it is a coup. If the coup succeeds, Israel will have a, democracy, a fake democracy, not a real one. In a real one, in a real democracy, the government follows the law, not the other way around. Democracy is more than having elections. There are regular elections in Russia, and it is a dictatorship. This is why so many Israelis carry their flag to the protest every week. The protest movement in which we proudly participate today has earned the admiration of the free world. It has earned it by its extraordinary persistence, its energy, its ingenuity, and the commitment to nonviolence, even in the face of police brutality. We are here today because we love a democratic Israel and are proud of it. The Israeli democracy that we love is far from perfect but it is worth defending. There is much that should change, but a lot to be proud of. We are proud of a country that absorbed millions of dispossessed Im immigrants from the East and from the West, from Russia and from Morocco, and gave them freedom, dignity, and a good life. We, we, are, we are proud of the incredible creativity that we see in so many domains in Israel, from dance to jazz, to cuisine, to the startup nation. All this could flourish only in a democracy. This is the Israel that the protest movement is trying to protect. The protest movement that Netanyahu, the inciter in chief, has dared to describe as traitors. Let us call this abomination by its name. It is a coup and it will fail. <laughs>